Hey guys, it's Tech right here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update your motherboard BIOS. That is right. If you guys do not know, I plan to do this for myself, and I thought I'd show you the steps in order to do so because I'm trying to upgrade my CPU from a 3000 series CPU from AMD to the 5000 series. However, I need to update my motherboard BIOS before doing so, so I thought I'd teach you how to do it. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is get yourself a USB thumb drive, and all you want to do with this, you want to take your USB thumb drive and plug it into the back side of your PC on one of your motherboard ports on the IO. So we're just going to plug this in like so so now that your thumb drive is installed what you want to do is look up your motherboard on an inner explorer or google chrome so that's what we're going to do here we're going to do exactly that and we go to your manufacturer's website so i'm using an msi motherboard so i go to the msi look for the one i'm looking for and then look for the drivers now it might not be right off the rip so you need to make sure to click drivers and download and then what you want to do is look for the driver you want to install so for me i'm trying to install the 5000 support drivers for actually the amd cpus which you can see it's this one right here and all we're gonna do is click download on this and once it started downloading you should get a zip file and of course we just just go to our file explorer go under our downloads and we're going to just click on this and then copy it and now that we copied it what we want to do is go to our thumb drive from earlier and then what we're doing here is control v or just paste it on in here and once we do that we should have access to it now the next thing you need to do on top of this is make sure the extract the file we're going to go to extract all and once we've done that we will get access to the drive in itself and also the main drive file that we want for this which is in this little folder here which is a little white documentation now that we have that, all you have to do is go into our BIOS. So all you want to do is go down to your Windows icon on the bottom right. You want to right click on it, go to shut down and sign out and then click reset. Now, when it's resetting, all you want to do is mash the delete key on your keyboard. And the reason why we're doing that is to access the BIOS. So you need to make sure the mash delete key. So we're going to keep doing this for a bit. With that though, we mashed it in enough that we've got into the BIOS. So once you're actually in your BIOS, you can just make sure it's on easy mode by clicking like F7, or you can just click the toggle up top or wherever your motherboard update is. And what you want to do is look for M flash. And once we're in flash, you want to say yes. It's going to stop for a second They actually like load up a new thing, which you're going to go back over here or to wherever your mother is. It's going to have this little file area. Now, when there's a file area, you want to look around for whatever your drive you're looking for. So we're using this USB thumb drive. We're just looking for the information on it and we want to file the thing we downloaded. So you can see right here, the thumb drive has that document we downloaded for the updated BIOS, which is the 7B93V1L. All we want to do is click on this and then we want to run this. And when you say you so sure you want to select this file, you want to say yes. And then what it's going to do is now a BIOS update. And don't click on anything. Don't let your PC turn off. Just let it be and let it update for the time being. This might take a second, but you got to be patient. Okay, so once the BIOS has fully loaded and gotten 100%, your PC is going to reset. So it might just take a second to actually boot on up. Now, the boot up process is not particularly the quickest. It might take a minute. So just keep that in mind. So if everything works fine, you should see your windows load up after a little bit. And of course, we should just see it load up on our other screen here. And with that, we'll have successfully updated our windows, not windows, our BIOS. <laughs> I got the two confused for a second there. Now, if you want to check if your BIOS is actually updated, you got to just do the exact same thing we did earlier. You just reset your PC and mash the delete key on your keyboard, of course, and you just give it a second. Once your BIOS is updated, you should actually see the name of the BIOS we updated to on your top right. So you can see right here, we got the BIOS version, which is of course like one I named out earlier, which is perfect. So we know our BIOS is perfectly updated. Now, something important to keep in mind when you do update your BIOS, everything will go back to default. So if you have your memory frequency enabled for XMP and stuff like that are set, you will need to set that back. So we're just gonna go back into our memory settings and we're gonna switch this from auto to one we're using, which is 32 megahertz. But make sure to do this for yourself so that way you have the advanced uh, memory settings active. And now we can just use your PC like so. So that is how you update your motherboard BIOS. If you guys did find this video helpful, you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so I miss some future tech content because later here in July, we got a few PC builds planned and a few other things. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers. So you wanna help me reach that goal? Be very much appreciated and have a great day, okay? Cool.